Hey guys, Flaccid Baron here, and welcome to my video. My video today is a story about how I discovered my new favorite solo build in Albion. And it was all thanks to a viewer who kept asking me in chat, hey, please make a blood letter build, make a blood letter build. I was kind of pushing them off, but at the same time, I just kept getting distracted by everything else. And I'm glad he was very persistent because this build is shockingly good. It is so much fun to play, and it truly is my new favorite solo build to play. Bloodletter? Oh, yeah, shit. I did tell you that. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do Bloodletter. Um, Taproot. So at this point, I was making a build that was very traditionally blood letter and I I thought what what am I missing why isn't blood letter good and then I had the realization blood letter once you get them to 40% you win you win the fight like if as soon as they're at 40% health you just e them and they're dead so all I need to do fat damage just put them to 40 percent health and win the fight as quickly as possible we don't need sustain we don't need anything but damage and a purge to get rid of those pesky hunter hoods that always always reflect me even though maybe you're well i definitely want a mage robe but i'm saying maybe you're right about the other things like i just want damage right because if i just have a ton of damage i just get them down to two bars of health and kill them that's the whole strat. Get him down to two bars of health, kill him. So I don't think I want omelet. I'm gonna want some beef. And then maybe even a maybe even poisons. Although, so this is good for 1v1s, but it's gonna be difficult for anything else. Maybe even Muasac. Do you think face breaker? So she reminded me that um, someone wanted to see a bloodletter build. Um, I'll try the face breaker because it gives you a little damage and a little defense. It's like kind of like the mix. But I'm thinking, I'm almost thinking Muasac would be better, right? Because all right, let's let's test them both. So let's just say I'm gonna get five one. 6.7% damage. Ooh, that's way more expensive. And I get about 3% damage here. But then I also get, what, 3% defense? I think I'll get the Miosac. I just, again, this build, it's not about living. It's about killing your opponent. <laughs> so if you just kill your opponent, you don't need to... Um, what's it? Like, you don't need to... What? You don't need to live if they're dead. If they're dead, you win the fight. You don't need to just live forever. So this was the final build that I ended up with. And as you guys will see in the highlights to come, this thing slaps and it slaps damn hard. It slaps so hard so quickly. One thing that I might change, but it's very difficult. What I might change if it's like a 1v1 situation as opposed to like an open world build, I would change the cape to like a Thetford cape. But in the open world, this undead cape has saved me plenty of times from rats trying to jump on me. So here's the build. First, I decided to go with the Mage Cowl. This thing, not only is it cloth, meaning you get an extra 3.5% damage, but its ability is very good. 128 damage for 5 seconds. That is a ton of damage, over 600 damage from just using your ability. And if they're invisible, if they're not attacking you, like this thing is still hitting them. It does get slightly countered by guardian helmets, but you don't see too many. So it's definitely the pick here. Next is the mage robe. Mage robe is huge. You get 58% attack bonus which is massive. It's the highest in the game, tied with Cultist Robe. And then also this Purge is very important. This Purge, it wins us so many fights. You guys will see people, everyone is running a Hunter Hood nowadays. 
So this thing counters Hunterhood. This thing counters those nature healers that you see a lot. It's very, very good right now in this meta, and it gives a huge damage bonus, so we have to use it. Then, of course, everyone knows the Demon Boots and the Undead Cape combo. This thing, it saves you. It really does. The extra damage is also good on the Demon Boots for trying to finish off people that are running away. So Demon Boots, you know, you kill two birds with one stone. You get extra damage, and if you need to escape, you are out of there. This thing is so fast. Then, of course, you have the Blood Letter. I like this Shadow Edge for the W, because not only do I have the Purge here on the Mage Robe, but the Shadow Edge is extremely good for guaranteeing no one's going to reflect you when you're trying to finish them off. So if a guy's like sitting on his reflect, but you want to finish him, you want to E him, he's at two bars of health, you want to throw the Shadow Edge, he'll be stunned, and then you finish him off with the E easy clap i also put the passive on deep cuts just gives us a little bit of extra damage and then of course as you guys can see we have beef stew we just want damage and poisons so that is the build the basic combo is um start off with d and a poison so throw a poison on your opponent then you want to purge anything that they are doing to you such as reflecting or uh, Merc Jacket to try to get their health back up. You just want to purge that. If they're a sword, you can purge their sword stacks. Then you want to use your W to either catch up with them if they're trying to run or to stun them so you can finish them off with an execute. And then when they are at two bars of health, use your E to finish them off. And that's about it. Make sure, of course, you're using Q as much as possible and auto-attacking anytime you don't need to use the other abilities. So guys, sit back and enjoy the claps. We got a couple juicy ones in there for you. It, that means it's unbalanced. Oh, this guy wants it? Bro, you don't want it. I'm telling you right now, you don't want it. Oh, fuck you. Ah, run! <laughs> easy kill, easy kill. We're going. Bro, how are you going to say go and then run away? Oh, God! It was a trap! Bye! Oh, wait, we can fight this guy. Probably. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> what do you think this was, Shafnor? Huh? Huh, Shafnor? You're looking like a fool right now, Shafnor. Huh? thought this was gonna be an easy clap Shafnor you thought yo man just bait him we'll, we'll be over there we'll be over there riff mollet we'll be over there buddy we'll go kill Flassa together yeah Shafnor you're looking like a dummy now boy laying on the ground like that I'm a nice lad okay that was it you missed it's Meagle that's it all right brother good luck Hey, don't steal my loot! Don't steal my loot, you fucking bitch! You will never escape for the treacheries you've caused! That doesn't even make sense. Die, you fuck! Don't ever steal my loot again. This guy wants it. Why are you running? Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Easy clap. <laughs> Yo. 
Wait, if you want to fight, we can fight. But... You want to fight? Here, first hit me. Yo, he's doing some damage, boys. Close, but no cigar. You get this! Stop stealing my loot! Stop stealing my loot! Oh god, oh god, Warbo. Run, 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 run! Nah, I'm USAC. I got 100 spec in USAC, so I'm getting 11% bonus. Oh, this guy wants to get clapped? I didn't know he had Reflect Hood. It didn't look like one. What was he wearing? Like tier... Was that like tier 8 or something? Did you just clap yourself? Yeah. Wait, this guy wants to fight. Reflect. All that. That seems like everyone's running Hunter Hood now. <laughs> Yo, he got slapped. <laughs> oh my god, the grizzly. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, they just keep coming. It's like a clown car. They're just they're piling out. It's a clown car of faction flag people, dude. Drake wants, wants the business. He doesn't have any reflecting, so this is good for us. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, here they are. Mendrick! Mendrick, I don't want to eat you as well. Oh, back clap! Back clap! Mirage, I think, wants to fight me. Okay. Me, so I'll stay out of this. Oof. You like that shit? <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Oh, nice. You want some help with that? <laughs> help with what? Come here, boy. Come here, Stelker. I ain't never letting you escape, Stelker. Yeah, you better just fight back, buddy. Yeet. Oh, easy. Stelker, you get back here right now, mister. Damn it, Stelker. Don't play these tricks on me where you go invisible. tricked him boys he thinks he's winning but now his stacks are down and i have my w and i'm a master with it <laughs> fuck you stoker what how did i kill him get back here get back here mister oh master of the w sorry stoker had to do it to you oh there's a claw boy Claw boy that wants to get booty body? Oh fuck. Oh that was Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. I hit the wrong button. I'll Just fat finger the wrong button. Oh, you're fighting him. Never mind. What? That went right through him. Is that guy double teaming you right now? Yeah, I just died. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you for watching. 
Have fun testing out this build for yourself. It is a ton of fun to play. And hey, stop by the stream. I play it a lot. You can watch me. You can ask me any questions you want. Twitch.tv slash Flaccid Baron. I'm probably live right now. So come check me out. Come have some fun. It's honestly the most fun I've ever had in Albion is streaming for you guys. So thank you so much for being awesome viewers. And I'll see you in the next one. Stay soft.